A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as a body is one though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body though many are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. Now the body is not a single part, but many. Now you are Christ's body and individually parts of it. Some people God has designated in the church to be first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then mighty deeds, then gifts of healing, assistance, administration, and varieties of tongues. Are all apostles, all are prophets, are all teachers, do all work mighty deeds, do all have gifts of healing, do all speak in tongues, do all interpret, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gift. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, we are his people, the sheep of his flock. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are. His people, the flock he tends. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. For he is good, the Lord, whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Great 
prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. May the Lord be in our minds, on our lips, and in our hearts. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, good morning, everybody. Today, we celebrate the Blessed Mother again, and this time with the title, Our Lady of Sorrows. Everybody say that with me. Our Lady of Sorrows has sometimes we get sad. And that's okay. You know? Uh, we can't always be a hundred percent happy. And sometimes there are we, we have what we might call a sorrow, and that is when we get a little bit sad. And then when we get sad, what should we do if we get sad? Who can tell me? What's one thing we could do when we get sad? Kendall, what do you think? Hmm? Oh, yes, turn to God with the Bible, perhaps. Because guess what? Other people in the past have gotten sad about things, too. And then we can read the Bible to see how they got over it. Grady, what else can we do? Pray. That is the best thing we can do. And sometimes, as Kendall says, with the Bible, sometimes maybe with our rosaries, sometimes maybe just with our own words. But the, one of the best things we can do, if we ever get sad, is to turn to Jesus in prayer and to pray. And the best way to pray, if you get, if, of course, we pray on our knees and we just say, Jesus, please, blah, 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 and we explain to him what's going on. Now, let's say we want to talk to a person about our sadness. Who should we talk to? What do you think? Our mom. Our mom. Our mom is a really good one to turn to. Now, one, so our Blessed Mother today, we celebrate Our Lady of Sorrows. Everybody say it with me. Our Lady of Sorrows. Look over there at that beautiful window. Do you see Jesus on the cross? And look, there are two people who are right in front. There's some kind of soldiers and things around too. But there are two people. One is a boy, one is a girl. At the bottom of the cross. And the boy is wearing red. He has really long hair. Unlike Father Mike. Okay? And then there is the woman. Who's the woman? Who can tell me who the woman is? Yes, Malvin. Hmm? Yes, it is Mary. And who is the, who's the guy? That one's a little harder. Maybe our, one of our uh, fourth graders might know the answer. Moy, who's that? Nope, not Peter. Not Peter, yes. John, exactly. So Mary and John are at the bottom of the cross. Where was Joseph? We don't know. We don't know. But anyway, Mary and John were there. John was one of the apostles, wasn't he? So there's Mary, and this is one of her sorrows. 
This is one of the times when Mary was very sad because she watched Jesus, her son, and God. She watched him on the cross. So that made her sad. Another time that Mary got sad was right before this. When, and it's the fourth station of the cross. You see station number one, number two, number three, number four. Number four is where Jesus meets Mary, his mother, while he is carrying the cross. You remember during Lent, we do the stations of the cross. And so Jesus has got this whole big cross on his shoulder. And finally he sees his mom. And he knew when he saw his mom, it was going to be okay. And she, and she gave him a hug and she said, keep on going. But then Mary stayed with Jesus. So that was another, she has seven sorrows total. Okay. Those are two of them. The first one happened a long time ago when Jesus was a tiny little baby. And one day, everybody look at this, look up here instead of at the window. Because what happened was that Mary and Joseph took the little Jesus, took a li the, the little boy Jesus to the temple and for his presentation. And there were two people there. One was Anna. She was like the first nun. And then there was a guy named Simeon. And Simeon looks at Mary. And Mary has Jesus with her. And Simeon is a prophet. And he says, Mary... This child is destined for the fall and rising of the world. And this child will be pierced. Simeon could tell, because he was a prophet, that one day Jesus would be pierced. And remember when Jesus gets on the cross, the soldier pierces him. So the, the Simeon, the prophecy of Simeon is the first sorrow. The second sorrow is also before that. The second sorrow is when Jesus was a little boy and one day he went missing. Remember, he was in the temple teaching the teachers. It'd be like one of you guys, maybe one of our third graders or something. One day your parents couldn't find you because you didn't tell them where you were going. And where were you? You were at St. Joseph's School in a classroom teaching Mrs. Brohard and Mrs. Settles and Mrs. Gaskin and Mrs. Miller and Miss Ayers and Mrs. Laker and Mrs. Borland. You were teaching all of them. That's what happened in that second sorrow because Mary got sad because she couldn't find Jesus. He was a little boy, 10 years old or so, and he went missing, but he was at the temple and he was teaching all of the teachers. And that's one way we know he was God. So that was one sorrow. That was two sorrows. The prophecy of Simeon and the finding in the temple. Number three, or the loss, I guess you'd say the loss. Number three is when Jesus meets his mother on the, as he carries his cross. Number four is where uh, Jesus is on the cross. Number five, when we have Jesus right over here, uh, Jesus is taken down off of the cross. And, he, and Mary sees that he is now gone. And she was very, very sad. And then when they laid him in the tomb was another one. When, uh, because she... She thought it was, she, she wondered, is it over? But then the resurrection happened. Now, boys and girls, when we get sad, we should go to God. We should go to our mom on earth, but we could also go to our mom in heaven. We can always go to our mom in heaven. And we remember that Mary is watching over us, that Mary loves us. And just like G Mary is holding Jesus in her arms here, she holds you in her arms. Eli read a reading, our first reading said that we are all parts of that body. We're all parts of Jesus, which means we're always in Mary's arms.
because we're in Jesus. So my friends, today let us thank God for Our Lady of Sorrows. And by the way, there's, you remember when we pray the Stations of the Cross, after each station, there's a little verse that we sing. At the cross her station keeping Stood the mournful mother weeping Close to Jesus to the last Today we sing all 14 of them during Mass. But because you don't have a book in front of you, I'll do them all for you, okay? You just close your eyes, but don't fall asleep. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword had passed. Oh, how sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed. Of the soul begotten one, Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her soul dying son. Is there one who would not weep, whelmed in misery so deep? Christ, dear Mother, to behold, can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain? In that Mother's pain untold, bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges rent. For the sins of his own nation saw him hang in desolation, till his spirit forth he sent. O sweet mother, fount of love, Touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with yours accord. Make me feel as you have felt. Make my soul to glow and melt. With the love of Christ my Lord. Holy Mother, pierce me through. In my heart each wound renew, of my Savior crucified. Let me share with you his pain, who for all our sins was slain, who for me in torment died. Let me mingle tears with you, Mourning him who mourned for me All the days that I may live By the cross with you to stay There with you to weep and pray Is all I ask of you to give Virgin of all virgins blessed Listen to my fond request. Let me share your grief divine. For Pope Francis, Archbishop Thompson, Father Mike, and all the leaders of the Church, 
that they may listen to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, For the leaders of the nations, that we would promote life, peace, and justice, and work together for the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, For our school community, that we shine our light on all that we do and work together to the to love others as Christ loved us. We pray to the Lord. Lord For all those who are sick or suffering, that they would experience the healing power of Christ's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord For all those who have died, that the light of Christ would shine upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, For Suzanne Reuner, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Almighty God, we bless these in all our prayers. Help us always to love you just as Mary loved you and continues to love you. We make all these prayers through Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever, with humble spirit and contrite living in the excess of later than our sacrifice. Your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquities, and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offerings which we bring to you, as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you glorious gave to us as a most devoted mother, when she stood by the cross of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. Rejoice when you share in the sufferings of Christ, that you may also rejoice exultantly when his glory is revealed. And let me now pray the blessing over our first graders, kindergartners, and second graders. May Almighty God be in your hearts and give you spiritual communion. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
may we possess some purity of heart. But what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God.